The government is impressed with surveillance measures at the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, uh, KKIA, in the work of the COVID-19. Transport and Communications Minister Mutuotwe Kafwaya says heightened surveillance at the airport is key in mitigating the spread of the virus in the country. Brian Moale has more in the following report. One at a time, their temperature is checked with the help of a thermal scanner as the first measure to detect signs of the coronavirus. Those whose temperatures beyond normal are isolated as part of heightened measures to trace COVID-19 at the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, the only airport still operating in Zambia. Transport and Communications Minister Mutotwe Kafwaya has visited the airport to assess the measures. I am impressed with the, the effort that the management has put in place. Minister of Health, the presence is adequate and they are asking the right questions. Um, the, the, the plane which just landed had some risks, uh, some people traveling from risk countries uh, and, and the procedures are clear. This thermal scanner installed two days ago has enhanced operations of health officials working in shifts with Port Health Officer Richard Chirwa noting that compliance levels are impressive. Yes, we have those who are working during the day, the day shift, and those who are covering the night shift. So initially, compliance on our end, there's no of some can say maybe they slept during the time of Saturday the street for public banking. With Ethiopian Airways being one of the two remaining airlines still flying into Zambia. Mr. Kafwaya knows that this has also reduced congestion, but flights may also stop. There are only two airlines that are flying into this airport. It's just Ethiopian Airlines and Malawi. Uh, all the others are not. Uh, so you can't push further, really. <laughs> you, you can't push further. Uh, what we may see is that even Ethiopian Airlines may stop. Government is not leaving anything to chance with passengers jetting into Zambia by screening and testing effectively after recording 22 cases in the country. Brian Mwale, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.